Hi guys, it's the Seattle Ring Hunter and it's July 2nd out here in the Muckleteo Ferry just behind us. It is actually opening crab season for us. So we've got Dungeness crab all out there waiting to be collected. So today's mission is to go out there. We got a diver right behind that piling there. Just kind of looking around and uh, we'll be out in that area. If you look way over there in the corner, they're all up there on the dock throwing their crap out over the side. Boom! And uh, hanging out waiting. So we are gonna take this uh, opportunity to go out there and take a look. I just heard a few days ago that uh, a diver was in this site and said he saw some uh, crabs down there. So hopefully, well, we've been here before. Should be pretty good opening day of the season. So come along for the hunt. And today is the Seattle Crab Hunter. We're going out there to grab them. Alrighty, we're allowed five dungeon S. Six and a quarter inches have to be the width. They have to be hard shell and they have to be male. And that's our requirement. And we'll get those that we'll measure them up. You'll see, as you'll see when we get down there, we'll make sure that they have a hard shell, that they haven't just freshly molted, that they are male and that they're good to go. We'll get five of them and no one else at my house actually eats them. So I'll be enjoying all of that. And the rest of the family is at bay at the distance because of the concerns with our uh, COVID. So. Lucky me, I get to eat a whole bunch of crab this week. Let's get to work. We're gonna go down there and grab some. Looks like he's got a net. Uh, maybe that was his fin, but uh, this guy down here is probably looking for him too, I would suspect. Being that the, this is opening crab day and this is pretty, pretty easy access. Uh, on the weekends, this site is used heavily by the scuba club, uh, the scuba training um, shops when they do their training for open water, scuba training. So right behind here, is a very limited parking spot, but this is midweek. And it's probably a little reduced because of COVID. There's not as many people as we would have in the past trying to get scuba training. But uh, being that this is a Thursday, and uh, some people are working from home or got to go into work and all that, we got the opportunity to come out here. So got prime parking real close for the gear set up to get out here real easy. Real nice and protected area for diving. This is a known dive site. This is very well known. You got your Washington State ferry out there that just took off going over to Whidbey Island and we got our guys over here fishing so there's nobody this is part of no I believe it's not even in use there's nobody out there throwing lines or fishing lines in so that's you know to our advantage um, this area we don't have to worry about anybody actively fishing over the top of our heads while we're down here uh, doing our hunt the boats will usually stay out like that one out there they're gonna go out to deeper waters in different areas and barely out there you can probably see this gentleman's dive flag and i'll throw a flag out too just for the heck of it good safety practice to maintain at all times because if he gets out of the water and takes his flag with him and i'm still in there doing a little bit of business um you know i want to be protected and that's just a prudent rule if you're going to be out here diving this is no more than 20 to maybe 30 feet depending on the tide and it's i've done this before in this this specific area so we're not dealing with real deep depths here if you look all the way on the other side, you might be able to see there's some boats out there. And those guys are actually a lot of boats up to the north. And, you know, they're out of ways. They're trying to get a little more depth. And they're all out there, most definitely trying to get the crab as well. So, actually, the boat's coming back in. There was one that just took off way down over there to the left. Just in line behind the speedboat. It's all the way on the other side. And this one's coming back through. So we got two of those coming in. So, uh... And yes, you can hear those guys uh, when you're underwater. You can hear them. This really, uh, you can hear them coming up. Pretty noisy. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of as the sound travels through the water when you're diving. You'll hear these boats when they go by too. And then we got another little boat out here, and he's probably looking to try to set up somewhere here, get some pots put in, and take off and come back, maybe or whatever. So anyway, cheers. Let's go on to the hunt.
If you've lost your ring or a special item of value, please get in touch with me at the SeattleRingHunter.com as soon as possible so I can arrange to do a search for you.